is considered the the seminal Hulk uh, comic book run. Well, I, th I think there have been a lot of really good Hulk runs since then. I mean, you know, I'm always flattered when people say, oh, Peter David, he wrote the best Hulk. But it was 20 years ago. There have been a lot of interesting things that have been done since then. And there have also been movies yes. with the Hulk. So yeah. if you were to perhaps write a Hulk movie, what would you have in oh, the film? Oh, I would do Future Imperfect. Future Imperfect was a two-part story that I wrote a number of years ago that was beautifully, beautifully penciled by George Perez. And it basically flips the concept of the Terminator. Instead of having somebody from the future come into the past to deal with a problem, although in this case the problem was, you know, trying to change the future, I had the Hulk be transported into the future to deal with something that only the Hulk could possibly deal with. And in the case of Future Imperfect, it was a future incarnation of himself. The Hulk had gone completely batshit crazy and had become a new a villain called the Maestro, who is the ruler of what is left of the world, you know, many decades in the future. And I always thought the Future Imperfect would be a great Hulk movie because you don't have to have all the other Avengers in it. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that. It would just focus on the Hulk of the future and, you know, the modern day Hulk being transported into the future to have to deal with him. And I think that that could be really, really entertaining. You co-wrote Stan Lee's autobiography. I did do that. Uh, what kind of uh, input did you have into the creative process, if any? Well, I wrote the script. Now, the script was based on a number of different sources. First and foremost was Stan's own autobiography, which is called Excelsior. Then I also read a buttload of interviews with Stan Lee. I mean, if you want to spend a few days reading Google, then just enter Stan Lee interviews and you can read all million or so interviews that are out there about Stan. I also went to Stan's office in Los Angeles and sat down and interviewed him for the graphic novel. Uh, getting all kinds of additional bits of information. I also got information from his assistant, a guy named Max Anderson, um, who was also very helpful in, in, uh, in supplying stories for me. So, um, yeah, I mean, and I wound up writing the script and then it was sent to Stan um, and, uh, and uh, his associates and they went over and they edited it and they sent it back and I did some rewrites and then they signed off on it and Colleen Duran, the artist, did an absolutely wonderful job of, of bringing it all to life. You worked for Stan Lee. Um, was it a different dynamic working with him? Well, I mean, I didn't, I never actually worked for Stan when I was working at Marvel Comics. I mean, Stan was the man. He still is the man. Um, but when I worked at Marvel, I worked for various editors, but I didn't really work for Stan in that regard. I have worked for Stan, I have worked with Stan several times. Worked with him on the graphic novel. I worked, uh, I worked with him when we did the New Universe line many, many years ago. I worked with him when we did the 2099 line, um, which was, uh, you know, exciting because I'm sitting there at the 2099 meeting and Stan Frickin Lee is sitting there talking about Ravage, uh, the character that he was going to be writing. And we were just all tossing ideas around and I thought to myself, wow, you know, where has my life gone that I'm sitting here in a story conference with Stan Freakin' Lee? You know, Stan, you know, Stan is great. I mean, he is one of my favorite people in the world. 